Happening now, the Undo's Upper Ohio Valley Italian Heritage Festival. It started back in 1983. A lot has stayed the same with the festival over the years. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Rich Pierce. But there have been a few different ideas added along the way. News 9's Jamie Baker has been at the festival today and joins us live now with more. Jamie. Rich, as you can see behind me, the street is packed full of people who are looking for food, fun, music, and all the good stuff that comes along with the Italian Heritage Festival. Just to show you just how crowded the streets are, we're going to give you a look from our Skyview 9, which is hovering above the festival, just to show you just how many people are here. Now, the festival has become a huge tradition in the friendly city for a whole number of reasons. It's the 37th year that we've had it, and every year it seems to get a little bigger and better, and it is now one of the biggest festivals in the country. Oh, say can you see? Over that 37 years, a lot of different traditions have emerged. A crowd favorite every year is the Sons of Italy's sausage sandwiches. And this year, President Mike Fossey is issuing a News 9 sports challenge to everyone who comes. We have a challenge. I know you do sports challenges, but we have a challenge. We want to know if the Ohio Valley can eat one and one half tons of sausage that we have prepared. Do you think they can? Absolutely. Meanwhile, there are a few new additions to this year's lineup. The My Roots booth can help you find where your family comes from and even tell you some of the big foods and wines that come from that area. What do we say? Hey! Right. Plus, Allegro Dance Company is teaching Tarantella, which has an interesting backstory. And the history that, that we've read about, uh, and of course there's a lot, it's a lot of urban legend when it comes to Italians, is that um, in the 15th to the 17th century there was a hysteria outbreak in Italy and if you did that dance then you would be cured of that. Thousands of people will pack the streets throughout the weekend to celebrate the Italian Heritage Festival and Undo's owner Nick Spareshane says it's good for the city and all those Italians out there. I think it's important for the community. I, I think it's important for all the all the different cultures in Wheeling and the Upper, Upper High Valley. Everybody's proud of their heritage and and uh, Undo's is just proud to be a part of it. And if you haven't had a chance to make it down here tonight, no worries. This festival runs through midnight tonight, plus all day Saturday and again on Sunday. Live in Wheeling, I'm Jamie Baker, News 9 at 6.